If you're in the market for a new commercial van, the 2024 transit details just got released this morning. Let's get to those right now. Hello, it's Tim Estrell, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion is trucks and SUVs. I'm not at the work truck show today, but that's okay. I got all the details for you. So I'm going to go ahead and play some B-roll and tell you everything you need to know about the 2020 Ford Transit. The 2020 Ford Transit has a variety of new smart features that should work out well for commercial customers and RV customers as well. So, for example, it's got two new engines, a new 10-speed transmission. It's got an available all-wheel drive system. There's new driver assist features for safety and a new standard Ford Pass Connect modem with 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot connects up to 10 different devices. So starting off with these features, we can talk about the available all-wheel drive system. What's important about this is that it's been integrated into the shape of the van and allows no increase in height. So there's no difference in height between real drive and all-wheel drive models and it can be set to be on, demand, on all the time. And so if you're in or out of your truck all day long, it doesn't matter. You can keep that all-wheel drive system on at all times. There's also a new 2.0 liter, what they're calling Eco Blue. It's a bi-turbo inline four-cylinder diesel engine. And then the new 3.5 liter V6 engine with port, fuel, and direct injection. These two engines will be made into a new 10-speed automatic transmission. And that'll be the same transmission you're going to find throughout Ford's lineup. There is also a new crew van that's coming to the lineup that's in addition to the cargo van, passenger van, and chassis cab. This new crew van can carry five people in two rows of seating with side curtain airbags. It's tailored for owners who need to move larger crews plus gear to a job site. The crew van is an enhancement to the 2024 Transit family based on customer feedback. Other important things to note on a 2020 Transit is that the maximum gross vehicle weight rating increases from 10,360 pounds to 11,000 pounds. The 3.5 liter V6 is the new standard gas engine. It replaces the old 3.7 liter engine. The new 2.0 EcoBlue bi-turbo inline four cylinder diesel engine is more fuel efficient and offers more power than the outgoing 3.2 liter diesel engine. There are no stats as far as horsepower and torque at this time. The diesel is equipped with auto start stop and is quieter than its predecessor. There's also a 3.5 liter EcoBoost gas engine that now includes auto start stop technology as well. Both gasoline engines can be ordered with a dual 250 amp alternators to provide a robust power supply for outfit, outfit equipment. New driver assist features for the 2020 Transit cargo van, crew van, passenger van, cutaway, and chassis cab include pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking and pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, post-collision braking, lane keeping system, and auto high beam headlamps. Transit Passenger Van XLT is equipped with Ford Copilot 360. That includes features like blind spot monitoring system with trailer coverage and cross traffic alert. There's also available enhanced active park assist. What that allows you to do with the touch of a button is you will control the gear selection, accelerator, and brake braking while the Transit automatically steers itself into place. There is also enhanced active park assist, and that will include park out assist, automatically steers the van out of a space while the driver controls the gear shifter, accelerating brakes, making for less stress. Other driver assist features include adaptive cruise control, front and rear split view camera, and adjustable speed limiting device. Other technology inside that's new this year will be an other technology that's new this year inside the cabin will be either a standard four inch four color multifunction display or an eight inch slim line touchscreen display. They each have the latest Sync 3 with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. A 4.2 inch productivity screen in the cluster provides vehicle information and phone call status. There's also Ford Telematics and Ford Data Services. This allows fleet managers to monitor the vans much more closely and they can get maintenance notifications and vehicle health alerts. Finally, exterior updates are pretty subtle. There's a new power sliding door available for cargo van and passenger van, and there's a new high-density discharge headlamps with signature LEDs surround are available. 
Three grills will adorn different models in the van. There is a new interior with modern dashboard and features. There are more durable new fabrics and seating surfaces, more cup holders, and additional compartments for storing gear and gadgets. Grab handles are improved, vents are updated to better direct heated and cooled air, and overall ergonomics are enhanced to make everything a little bit easier. There is optional swivel front seats for the first time ever. These will be available in the transit van, and that was really due to customer feedback in the RV segment. The upgraded 2024 Transit will ship this fall. We'll know more about pricing and fuel economy during the summer and fall leading up to the launch. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to know more about commercial vehicles or trucks or random stuff I do, make sure you hit subscribe or hit the bell notification for getting notified of new videos coming out. Also, find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just type in Pickup Truck Talk. We're there. You'll find us. Trust me. Send hate mail to pickuptrucktalk.com. Put hate mail below if you'd like to as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.